Hey there and welcome back to the channel. My name is Janos and in this video I want to show you my complete Notion setup in the year of 2021, uh, how it currently looks and what I've been changing um, and how I manage all the different parts of my life. We're going to take a look at my goals, my notes, we're going to take a look at how I manage my business, how I do personal things like um, have a recipe database, uh, how I manage finances with my girlfriend, how I manage my college and all of these different things inside of this video. Now there's lots to cover so let's get started right Right now. So we're going to start off this tour on my Notion homepage and this is this page right here. Um, I showed you this in the Notion dashboard or Notion homepage makeover video as well and pretty much how I uh, designed this page to be is to kind of function like a navigational page for my entire uh, workspace because I have lots and lots of different parts of it on, and I do want to get to the different parts uh, pretty quickly. Um, so here are, for example, I have like my client projects, I do have my college, uh, I have like some links to restaurant and bar database, recipes database, my expense tracker, and then like other things, like other databases and things for my business as well. Uh, now I also have these two linked databases here, which just give me a quick overview of what I'm actually doing right now. So uh, here I have the uh, weekly goals, and then I also have like my learning database, uh, which just contains uh, things that I want to check out, articles, videos, um, and things like this that I want to uh, watch because I think that they will be useful or interesting to me. And so there's not even that much to this page. It's again, just there to kind of be a dashboard for my entire setup and to let me navigate to the different parts of my setup quickly. So now let's actually go on to my goals page. Now, uh, the way I've organized my goals is into these three different categories. So I have my weekly goals, my monthly goals, and I have my yearly goals. And these are actually just three different databases that I have created. So what I actually do is every Sunday, I take a couple of minutes to plan out my uh, goals for the next week. And then I just add them in here, and then they will also be automatically added to the linked database on my homepage. And how this works is I actually have this set up into four different categories. Um, so I have my web design business, I have like my um, online courses and YouTube videos, uh, I have my college and education is what I call it, and then I have my personal tasks, personal goals. And this organizational structure is actually the same in my entire workspace because I want to have some consistency and so everything I do pretty much is divided into these four different areas. Now what I actually do in the weekly goals is once in a while, like every couple of days, I will go in here and see if I actually have done any of my like goals for the week and then I will check them off if I've actually done them. And then you see they will actually disappear from this view um, because they have been finished. And again, there's not even that much more to this view because I really like to keep things simple and functional. And um, I know how easy it can be in, in Notion to like make everything uh, look really nice and do like really complicated stuff that just doesn't make much sense often. So it's usually um, like more of a time waste than actually making you productive. And that's why I like to keep things really simple. Um, I like to things to be straightforward so I don't have to like um, do massive amounts of, of manual work to actually keep up with my Notion system. And that's why I want to keep this uh, as simple as it is right now. Next up, we have the areas database. Now these are just the different life areas that I have defined for myself. And this is also where most of the information and the documents uh, that I have inside of Notion are actually stored. Um, and again, you can see that this is divided into the four different categories. So I have my web design business, I have like my online courses and YouTube, um, I have my college and I have my personal like part of the database. Um, so let me actually show you each of these and what I do with them. So first of all, we have my web design business where I just store information about clients. So I have like client projects in here um, where I take notes and um, do things like this, have information about the client. Um, then I have some general uh, things in here. So like um, things um, for my business trips, um, things considering uh, GDPR. Then I also have my uh, standard operating procedures in here. So this is like, um, like processes and workflows that I've established for myself that I like to do in order to keep things um, productive, to keep things uh, like at a high quality level and also to be effective with uh, what I'm doing. I also have a subscription tracker in here, which just tracks, uh, you know, what um, like subscriptions I have, um, especially concerning like business, so like software that I have to purchase 
so that I just know how much I'm actually spending every month on on these um, like recurring uh, recurring licenses that I have to pay. And then lastly, I also have a little knowledge base where I just have some information about different uh, parts of uh, like the things that I do. I just have it stored in there so that I, if, if I have to reference it or I have to like look something up, I can just go in there and um, take a look in here. And um, yeah, then I will usually find it. And also if I'm working with other people uh, like collaborators or uh, freelancers, uh, then I can give them access to this information pretty easily. Now let's go over to my uh, like yeah, not just workspace, workspace. <laughs> so like uh, the part of the database um, that is dedicated to my online courses and my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and here we have uh, a lot of things as well. So first of all, we have the content plan. So this is just like a huge list of different content ideas in a big database uh, where like a plan all my content that I produce and um, yeah, I just have like a board to keep track of what ideas I have, which videos are actually being produced, uh, which videos are being filmed, which videos are being edited and so on. So I just have like a um, good like assembly line of uh, content coming out. I also have some other like checklists and keywords that I want to use uh, for YouTube, for example, in here. Also, we have this hosted on Notion page. Uh, this is pretty much just like a collection of different resources that I shared uh, through Notion. And um, I just want to keep track of what I'm actually sharing. So that's why I created this page um, that just holds all the different things that I actually shared. So for example, we have my college OS template in here. Uh, we have my home template, recipes demo, and uh, things like this. Uh, cheat sheet for the math equations in Notion. Uh, all the things that I like ever really shared or created for my YouTube channel or my online courses. Then I also have a bit of information about my newsletter. So this is where I collect like my newsletter ideas and I also um, like have a list of ideas for different segments for my newsletter that would be interesting. So this is where I keep track of that. Now over to the right side, we have all of the things that are um, concerning my online courses. Um, first of all, we have my online courses database, which is just the database that holds all of my online course content uh, and where I actually plan all my online courses. Uh, then we also have a revenue tracking board that I created for my online courses um, to kind of track things like revenue, um, like um, conversion rates for online courses and all the things like this. Uh, and then I also have like some checklists, so like an SEO checklist, uh, learnings from my courses, so what I can do to improve my courses, uh, branding, legacy stuff, and then marketing ideas. Um, so lots of things in here as well, and uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, so uh, let's, not, um, let's not talk about this too much, and let's actually continue to the next part of my setup. So this one's going to be a bit quicker. This is my college part of the database. Uh, this is just where I have like my college courses um, that I'm actually taking right now. Um, I have like a notes database where I have all my notes uh, in here. Um, actually, we can't see this right now because I think the notes are all over here, yeah. Um, I just have the old notes in here, but I can actually show you if I go on one of the courses and uh, maybe like in here. And there you see like all the different notes that I'm taking. So they are in German, so you probably won't understand, but um, yeah, this is just a big, uh, like huge notes and practice database um, that is embedded into all the different pages uh, for the different courses. And um, this is really helpful for college. So I just have like a huge database of notes that I'm taking. If you're interested in this, actually you can check out my uh, college OS system or like the uh, Notion for Students series that I posted, uh, where you can actually download a template that uh, allows you to do exactly this. So um, if that's interesting to you, then um, please check that out. I will link it in the um, like in the video card. And then lastly in here, I have the personal part of my um, kind of setup. Uh, this is where I do things like um, like manage like the workouts that I want to do. I have a personal CRM in here. Um, I have like some things about uh, finances and stocks, so like an investment strategy, uh, cost calculation, all stuff like this. Uh, and also, this is also important um, up here, the household. Uh, this is actually where we manage like our um, yeah household. So we have like this um, this is like a uh, an expenses tracker. Um, we have like some um, places in Berlin that we want to visit uh, and all the stuff like this. So this is where my girlfriend and I just um, manage all the stuff that we actually do together. So now it's time to talk about my notes database. And uh, this is a product of lots and lots of experimentation. And now I've actually found a system that makes sense for me and that I actually like to use. So the first part of this notes database is this view right here, which is called the quick notes view. 
and this just holds like some quick notes as the name suggests uh, that I have to take um, like when I'm in the client meeting or when I'm um, like uh, just having like a, a quick idea that I want to note down somewhere um, I am like, calling a person and we're like um, on the phone and then I just have to write something down um, things like this will go into this database view um, because these are like the, the notes that then will be deleted later because I just don't need them anymore. Um, and then we have like the big uh, second part, which is um, just called big notes. Um, and these are just like the um, long term notes, I call them. So these are notes that I actually want to continually work on and continually refine, um, where I constantly add things to them, um, but then like check things off again and uh, just keep like track of ideas that I have. So for example, I have my uh, improvements um, list in here. Uh, and again, this is in German, but um, pretty much what it is, it's just like a list of many things that I actually want to try out, things that I want to test, ideas that I have for my business and stuff like this. And uh, I actually don't want to put this on my to-do list, for example, because uh, these are not things that I actually know when they're going to be done. And also maybe things that will never be done. And it's just like an inspiration list where like every couple of weeks or so, uh, or every month I go in here and I just go through the entire list see which things are actually relevant to me right now and then try to check them off by you know adding them as a task to my to-do list account actually or by just removing them and um, doing whatever uh, the suggestion of the uh, idea was i also have something similar for business ideas so these are just random ideas that i have uh, for my business where uh, like uh, like on courses that i want to create or on uh, different um, ideas that I have, um, like just random ideas, uh, stuff like this. So this is a system that I found works really well for me because I can really separate these quick and dirty notes from the more long-term like lists where I just want to continue to add stuff. And then the last part is actually like notes on books. Um, like these are just books that I read and where I just took a couple of notes on them. The thing is, I personally am not reading much right now, um, which is something that I really want to change in the future again. But I wanted to separate this uh, somewhere as well because um, obviously these book notes are um, pretty pretty different from the quick notes and also pretty different from these like more long-term um, specific notes. And so I just created a new review for this as well. The last part of my setup is my resources page and this is just a big list of different databases where I just um, like add stuff into when I come across interesting things pretty much. So essentially I don't often interact with this page, um, usually I just add things to it through the Notion Web Clipper and uh, then they will be added in here into any of these databases that actually fits. Um, so for example I have a tools and software database which is just a huge list of like different tools and software that I like to use or uh, also tools that I actually just ca came across and that I want to save for later um, because I think that they might be valuable in the future. Then we also have recommended tools. This is a different database, which is actually a database of the tools that I actually would recommend. Uh, tools that I think are really great and that I would recommend to other people. So this is basically a stripped down version of the first database uh, with just the tools that I can actually recommend because I've used them before and I actually like them. Then we have my learning database, which is the one you actually saw on the homepage. So let's quickly just go back to that. So this is embedded here as well. Um, and it just contains like all of the different uh, articles, books, um, not, not books, uh, articles, videos, podcasts, whatever um, that I want to um, like read through or watch um, because I think they will be interesting. Then we also have the books database, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is where I add books that I want to read. Again, I'm not really consistent with reading right now, but uh, that's something that I want to get back to in the future. Restaurants and bars is also quite self-explanatory. This is just a database of all the restaurants and bars that I've been to and that I actually really enjoyed um, so that I can like go back to them in the future um, if I ever want to. And then we just have things like web design inspiration. So these are just websites that I find inspiring, um, interesting products and companies. So just like interesting startups that I, again that I like and that I um, want to um, keep somewhere because I might want to uh, come back to them later in the future. Um, so just things like this. And again, I don't use this page too often. It's more like my uh, storage location, like my second brain where I just dump everything into that I want to keep somewhere. 
And um, then from time to time I actually go in and organize and uh, also I go in and um, search for certain ta uh, like certain products, certain tools, um, certain websites, certain restaurants that I actually like and that I um, want to remember um, like what they were, for example. Now last up we have the archive page and this is just a huge list of all the things that I wanted to keep for uh, future reference maybe or that I, you know, that I wanted to maybe get back in the future but that aren't relevant to me right now and so uh, I want to put them in an archive um, so that they're just out of the way. So this is just like the stuff that I don't need right now and that I might want to um, like reinstall back into my work workspace later in the future. And with that, we're at the end of my Notion setup tour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you actually have questions about any of the individual parts, then please let me know. And also let me know if you want a more detailed look at a single part of my, my workspace. Um, so if there's anything that's really interesting to you, then please let me know and uh, I will sure to create a video for that as well. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about uh, Notion and how you can get started as a beginner, uh, then I recommend that you actually check out my Notion 101 course, which is available on Skillshare and Udemy. Uh, it's pretty cheap and it get, helps you get started on all the important parts of Notion. That's it for this one. I hope I see you in the next video. So take care.